Somewhere in the jungles of South Africa, a mother cheetah prepares to attack. And for a good reason, to defend her young. Great shot, Dr. Boris. They are perfect for my experiment. They will be the first. The first subspecies. Sicker, prepare the formula. Yes, Doctor. Back at Dr. Morbus hut. Be still, cat. This is going to hurt. The formula quickly took effect and over the years, the three cubs grew into a new type of being part men, part cheetah. They were the first of a hybrid called subspecies. They had become a cheetah men. First, there was the largest one, Hercules. Like his namesake, he was noble and powerful. But for all his strength, he was gentle as a lamb and would only fight as a last resort. Then there was Ares, small and quick. He was a super athlete and a student of the martial arts. Inspired by the videotape karate movies Dr. Mobis showed him, he created his own weapons from the wood of the mighty oak. Combining these clubs with his athletic and martial arts skills along with his natural cheater ambulates, created the greatest fighting machine of all. Finally, there was Apollo. If the cheetah man needed a leader, it was him. He was their big brother. Apollo displayed great intelligence and a knack for technical work. He quickly developed an interest in archery and became a master of the crossbow. Apollo read many books on combat, philosophy, ecology, science, electronics, and astronomy. Having learned many ways of the world, Apollo has the first to become suspicious of the ways of the man who raised them, Dr. Morbus. Apollo, Ares and Hercules, my cheetah men. It's been 15 years that you've been here. I think it's time for you to carry out my plans, plans for greatness. First you will enter the village and steal any goods you find and if anyone gets in your way, kill them. Wait, Dr. Morbus. We thank you for raising us, but we feel that these plans are wrong. How dare you question my plans? Who are you judge me? You are not even human. You ungrateful freaks. You think you can survive on your own? Do it. You've failed me, now pick up your tails and get out. Later, at the Babab tree. I can't believe Doc Mortis isn't killing bad. What does it mean anyway? It means to take away life and it's wrong. I think I've seen a killing once and it. Dr. Mortis killed our mother. Come on Cheetah Man, let's get busy. Doc Mortis. We have some questions. And we want some answers. Welcome my Cheetah Man. I knew you'd be back and I've prepared for your visit. I've created a new subspecies formula that can control minds, and I've commanded my new subspecies to destroy you. Time for a freak out. Behold my cheat Emin, your doom. The hyena, white rhino, and scavenger. Let's sink some subs. One of us is going down Ares, one down, two to go. There's something funny about all this, right? Yeah, this. I don't want to fight you. But you left me no choice. Now it's your turn, Dr. Mortis. Oh really? Haha. Uh -huh. I love this thing. Give it all you've got, Hercules. You may have won the battle. What is this? I can't break it. It's some kind of force field. But I'll win the war. Look, he's flying. This thing just won't break. He's getting away. If it's the last thing I do, I will destroy the Cheetah Men. Back at the Great Babad Tree. I think Dr. Morbus will be trouble. We'll be ready for him, Hercules. It's our duty to protect the world from him, and any evil that threatens Earth. Straight up, man. And never forget, we're brothers. More than that, we are cheetah men. Living large.